That one looks like it's part of the lollipop guild. You do, you just need some lollipops in your head. That's all you need. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm here at Nana's Hidden Attic near Carlinville, Illinois. And we're gonna head in here and see what we can find. It's just like lion and it looks old too. It's metal. Interesting. Huh, wonder what it was for. Are these threaded holes? No, they don't look threaded. I was thinking, well, maybe it was a handle, but that would be a strange handle. Huh, that's well, $8. I'm tempted to get it just because it's so different. There's a one back here, but this one has the word parse, Parsons etched on the side of it. So something, maybe like a paperweight or, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, $8, I think that's kind of cool. So I'll get it. I think I'll get it. They have 40% off red checked items. So if it's a red item or if it's checked red item, then it's 40% off. So that's always good. We like sales. Ooh, the poodles. I feel like these have been here and I feel like it needs rhinestone eyes because there's none. So it's a poodle baby and a poodle mommy for $10. Hmm, that's not bad. It just needs rhinestone eyes. It's a pretty dish. It's a crafted piece. I think somebody painted it. Oh, here's one of those Nestle mugs. They're pretty cool. And they say Nestle on them. With the world. With the whole world. Okay. Well, this mall is pretty large, so I'm gonna keep going because there's a lot to see. Look at that carnival glass back there. Wow. Is that a dragon? There's dragons and roses on it. It is on sale. It was 165. Now it's 155. <laughs> Gotta give them credit for trying. Look, you're getting a sale. You're getting, a, you're getting a ten dollars. Uh, that one, the other one was 195. Oh, now that one's 125. That one you see more often. It's the fint. It's the um, it's the holly berry pattern. I think Fenton. Pretty sure. Pretty. Ooh, the gum display. Those are cool. They actually will glow under black light. That one right there. That stand. That one's on sale for 45. There's a couple chips in it. This is a very tempting tin. Isn't that wonderful? It's $22 though. Yes, they're doing 25% off, but I'm just like, I don't know. It's so unique. I, I just don't know. It's so unique though. The shape of it is beyond. Gray, Dunn and Co by appointment to the late Queen Victoria Biscuit Manufacturers, Glasgow. Huh. So, it's so cool though. Should I just get it anyway? Because, I mean, 25% off. I should probably just do it, just for my own fun. I think I will. It's hard not to. So this particular booth happens to be 30% off of everything. And look at this. Isn't that adorable? There's like a little Bambi deer on it. And it's a wooden box that says, if at home you do not find us, leave a note. That will remind us. <laughs> and you open it up. And then there's like an area for the pencil. The pencil. And then your um, their notepad, which it needs a notepad. But ooh, it's had like a blue one. Look at that old paper. <laughs> and it's $7.50. So then... 30% off of 750 is really, really good. So I'm gonna get that, put that right in there. So I'm definitely finding some interesting things, different, different stuff. This little brush with a horse on it. Huh, here's an ashtray, nice little thing. That wood, that's pretty wood. <gasps> You're pretty wood. Monkey pod. Monkey pod's known for being lightweight. Hmm, isn't this cool? Now this is something a little bit different than I normally would pick up, but it's this made in Poland, so it's crystal. We got a crystal, kind of a, like a rose bowl on top, and then this, look at the seahorses. 
the brass stand. So it's very cool. It's probably made in India, the brass stand. Oh, look at that. We love whenever a sticker is present. It's, a, it's blurry as all get out, but it says made in India. Um, and then the crystal, that's beautiful. Twelve fifty, and then we're doing 20% off in this sale or in this booth. So I'll get it. I like it. I do. So I'll get that. I noticed Franciscan Ivy right over here. Right down there, see it? It's just a plate, like a luncheon size plate. And then there's a little bit of maybe Poppy Trail by Metlox on top of it. Ooh, the convex frame is pretty for 10. So like that would be $8. That would have been so pretty for Valentine's Day, but it's too late now. What a cute little size. And the subject is nice. Well, I just spotted this really, really cool box. And if you are a regular watcher, you will recognize what it is instantly. And that is a chocolate box. So these were sold in held chocolates originally. It's actually in really good shape. It's $14, it needs a little work. But so it's, they're mirrored, but they uh, definitely were for chocolate. So they were kind of multi-use. They call them novelty boxes at the same time. So. Uh, it makes a great gift, but it's this carved wood box has the lithograph print on top of it and then This right here it has these little spikes I can fix this so easily with a pair of pliers push it back in and then this is gonna be good The one thing that I would make sure on is that the all the feet are there And in, the, in this case, yes, all the feet are there for some reason or the, for some reason or another the feet are sometimes missing but uh, yeah, these are so fun. And they would normally have like a little label right here. But I'm going to get this one for 14. You see railroad stuff. That's not a surprise. I don't see any of their railroad stuff. I guess you got to know to look for it. Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's cool. Is it, so it's a kaleidoscope? That's crazy. So $45. Weird. That is different. It's pretty. Pretty box. I wish this booth was on sale. Most every most every booth I've been buying stuff from has been on sale. They have a lot of clocks in here, but they're not ones that are jumping out at me. So. Oh. No jumper outers. Well, I like that one at the other mall, but it was not working. Regulator. Yeah. There's a lot of people on their way out around here, well, so. Around this clock here is cool, but that's we've got to be realistic. It's not going to go at our house. What? That is got it. You got to be realistic. You gotta be, because that's not. Probably. I don't know how much that is, but that's. So this is a fun one. This is known as an OG. O G E E. Yes, I the, did. Oh. But that's the. Well, you call it that whenever you have the the fret, the edge that looks like that. It kind of curves that very specific way. I'm not a big on that person. 145. How much is that tall clock? Oh, look at all the figurines. My goodness. Um, 130. 130, that's it? Mm. Must be something wrong. With it. Well, it is missing some of this detail on yeah. the, on the, those yeah, little beaded. It needs some help. Rollins, 31 day. Now that's the kind of clock you don't have to worry about. You wind it and it's good for 31 days. Uh. Yep. Okay, this booth is 75% off of everything, which is an outstanding deal, but it's filled with a lot of, well, kind of like Goodwill stuff, just like, it's really been picked over is my point. It's really been picked over. There's a couple of false graph, that's the Yorktown pattern right there, and some suit mug. well, I don't know if they're suit mugs or, they're just mugs, but, um, Quite a lot of the booths here are on their way out, it appears. They have sales and there's empty spots. So, a lot of it I just have to walk right by it because they're, they're, they're just not filled. Oh, lots of little things over here. Maps, Indiana, Texaco, Ohio. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need any of it. Darn. It's over here. A mixture. I like a mixture. That's okay. 
So we've got some enamelware down here. $32.50 for the turkey tray. Turkey tray. Some art glass. A frog. A turtle. Turtle. $8.50 is not bad. I'm thinking it might be like a Japan piece. It's a cute one. Hmm. Very tempting. Very, very tempting. Books. Ooh, look at the coconuts. The coconut salt and peppers. Those are fun. Kenmar, so Japan. Kenmar, Japan. Florida. Ooh, aren't they fun? They look like monkeys. They're like monkey coconuts for six. They're cute. My gosh, look at all the Cupid dolls. I think Misty would have a field day over here. Wait till she sees your video. Wow. And it's like tempting. Five fifty. This glass one is kind of pretty. It's it's about ten dollars, and they're doing twenty percent off. I wonder. I wonder about you, because your glass. I just don't know who did it. It's different. All kinds of cupies. One's playing tennis. Twelve fifty. Hmm. And there's some more down there. That one looks like it's part of the lollipop guild. You do, you just need some lollipops in your head. That's all you need. And then you're ready for the wizard. Oh, well, there's like little cupie books and cards. Oh my gosh, how adorable. I think it's a reprint or something. Yeah, it looks like a print of a thing. You're a print of a thing. Golly jeepers. I had to show these black cats. These are known as redware. So they are made of like a, you know, like a redware pottery. That's a better example. And it, they're usually made in Japan, like this one. These are the, star, the, the salt and peppers. And the long animals like this are really collectible. People like them. They have $80, I think 80 or 85 on this one. Well, and you get 20% off. We've got the letter holder and this little teapot and the, um, the mail sorter thingy. Well, the same thing, that's what they are. 15 isn't bad. And then you could put like a pen right here in the butt. And part of me thinks ink there. I don't know why I think it's like an ink well situation, but it's like a little bowl. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense though, because you'd have to like, there's not a lid for it. I don't know, but it's cool. It's mostly decorational, I think, because it's from the 50s, 60s, and people weren't really using feather or fountain pens. So <laughs> the fountain pens they were using were the ones that you fill themselves up with, like um, Esterbrook, or Parker, or Waterford, or not Waterford, Waterman. Waterman is the right word I'm looking for. So, okay. Everywhere I go, there's a baby crying. There is a lot of signs over there. Hey, we got a one more. Oh, which, which one? Travel at your own risk? Oh, that one. We've got one like that. Or you do, at least. One of the first things I got. Slow children play. Max Nordine's Wheel Museum. Oh, that's fun. I wanted to show the sign that Aaron ended up getting and it's for CSXT property, no trespassing. So you bought this for 40, 40, but then 40 with 55, tax. I cut her down to 15 off roughly. It was, oh, it was 15 or 55 original? Yeah. That's pretty good. I would have done 45. I don't know if I would have done 55. I might have, who knows? Well then, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully Thanks for that watching. Didn't, that, uh, that heads up booth didn't just, wasn't watch you. <laughs> Why? Because then they would have known they could have gotten 55. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.